rest of this weekend done. Hi! Happy Friday, everybody! Today is Friday, January 22nd. And we're doing video number four, uh, 242. Sorry. I keep trying to say, I, I said yes, yesterday in the video, I named, named the video, I went, four, like, where am I getting the four from? I know it's supposed to be the four in the middle of the two, or next to the two, because we're, we're at the two forties in video, so. Today we're going to be talking about the Lord is thy keeper. We're going to be in Psalms 121, verse 5, and then verse 8. That's where they set it up. Hope everyone had a great Thursday yesterday. Hope everyone's happy. We're at another Friday. I just pray, pray for America, everybody. You know what I'm. You know what I mean. That's all I'm gonna. I'm just all gonna say about that. So it says, "The Lord is our keeper. The Lord is our shade upon thy right hand." And I guess that's where verse five is. And then it goes, "The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in." From this time forth and even forevermore. There. I'm too far up top of the camera now. Or go was too my chin was too far down at the bottom. Now it's too far at the, the head's too far at the top. Okay, <laughs> sorry about that. So one of the most precious doctrines in all of the scripture is that of the secure position of the believer in Christ Jesus. Nothing in creation is able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 8, 39. So the Apostle Peter tells us that we are, we who are born against, who, excuse me, sorry about that, got, got a little tongue tied there. The Apostle Peter tells us that we who are born again are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation. And we see that in 1 Peter 1 5. So nothing we can do can merit salvation. Similarly, nothing we can do nothing we do can keep it. This is God's work, not ours, and extends to the realm of our lives. And in 1 Thessalonians 5.23 it says, I pray God your whole spirit and soul and body pre-preserved, which is usually translated kept, blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? So the keeping aspect of God's work for us should not be a surprise. For Christ prayed for just, for Christ prayed for just this. Sorry. I get my word. I get my words jumbled sometimes, and it sounds funny. But sorry about that. I try to speak a little too fast sometimes, and it jumbles my words. So with his betrayal, trial, crucifixion, and death imminent, he prayed for all who would eventually believe on him. John seventeen twenty. Let's see. In John 17, 11 and 12, and in, fifth, in verse 15, it says, Holy Father, keep, keep through thine own name those whom thou hast given me. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those that thou gavest me, I, kept, I have kept, and none of them is lost. In verse 15, I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that that thou that thou shouldest keep them from the evil one or evil. But they they just put uh, one in the little brackets. So we can be certain the prayer is answered, for God the Father would surely hear the intercessory prayer of His own beloved Son. Amen. And lastly, Jude, verse 24 and 25, you all know Jude. There again, they've got it printed. I guess this is the way they have to print it. But you all know Jude is one chapter. So if you write down verses for Jude, don't ever put the one in front of it unless you have to type it that way. 
I understand. I understand when they printed it like that, they had to do it like that. So, but when you, if you're listing it, if you're writing it down, and you're doing certain verses out of Jude, just put the verse number. So, like it says, it says Jude one twenty four and twenty five. There's no such thing with one book. You don't put the the one down. If you put the one down, you think there's more chapters to that book. Now if it's, if it's just one chapter, just put the verses. You don't need the chapter number. I just get, I get, I'm sorry I vent sometimes when I see that on these, in these pages, the way they've got them printed. Because I, I know Jude is only one chapter. And you only, you only got to list the verses. You don't need the chapter number. Because you know what verse, you know where it's at in Jude. Because Jude's only one I think it's probably one or two pages. I don't know how I got it set. It's probably one. In mine, it's probably one page. So hey, you go you go to Jude and you read that certain verse. Ooh we smell the fuel out here is a little strong. I don't know why. <laughs> I know we got uh, got. Excuse me. Oh, I got a fuel, a fuel jug right behind me now. I must have bumped it and it set the uh, fumes out. But sorry, sorry for that. So 24 and 25 of Jude it says, "Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy, to the only wise God our Savior be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now." and ever basically both now and forever amen so let it be done <laughs> so that is all I have for the Lord is our keeper tomorrow's video for Saturday January 23rd and video number 243 there I got it out that time we're talking about thy light and thy truth oh Thy keeper. And then we're going to talk about thy light and thy truth. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought it was going to be a several days with set, with some some of the same words in it. But it's just today's video is the Lord is thy keeper. And tomorrow's video is thy light and thy truth. So with the word thy, T-H-Y. But for Saturday, January 23rd, we're going to be talking about thy light and thy truth. And we're going to begin with Psalms 43 verse 3. So look forward to that. I'll go ahead and get it through. And just as soon as I stop recording this one, I'll turn around and record that one. But you'll see it tomorrow. Hope everyone has a great Friday. Hope everyone has a great weekend. Pray for America. All I could say. Put it in God's hands and he'll, and he'll keep you safe. I love you. And I appreciate you. Just stay safe out there, people. Just stay safe. In all you do. No matter what it is. Protecting your health. Protecting your family. Protecting your beliefs. Whatever it may be. Just trust in God. And He will keep you safe. Amen? And with that said, peace out. Until tomorrow, everybody. God bless. And goodbye.